to Paris for six and a half hours. The minority insists that the Falcon could have been used. Once the Falcon is airworthy and it took this same president to Uganda only a few days prior to the 16th of May when the president departed for Paris with this rather luxurious monster, the most outstanding, extravagant Airbus aircraft to be manufactured, the Airbus AJC 320 Neo, which originally was manufactured to take 150 people at the minimum, but it has been reconfigured to take only 17 people. So a luxurious empire can be created. And you have seen the photos which we have made available. The aircraft comes with a master bedroom. It comes with an ensuite bathroom with showers, dining facilities for all 17, and sophisticated IT connectivity installations. We insist that from that same company, the company known as Acropolis Aviation, they have other chartered flights. First of all, our contention is that the Falcon is available only five days prior to this 16th of May 2021 trip. The president had used it to Uganda. And what you must know about aircraft is that once it's declared airworthy, it's airworthy. So if that same week the aircraft was available and used to Uganda, it's airworthy. If it can take you to Uganda safely, it can take you to France safely. It can take you to, to Brussels, that is in Belgium, safely. So the point we are emphasizing is that in these times of austerity, where the president himself has said that times are rough, let's bear with him. They came to this house to impose additional taxes because they want to put this economy on a sound footing. They say that COVID has further wreaked havoc on this economy. You all know the conditions that we are in as a country. You know of the fix the country movement. Ghanaians are up in arms that virtually every sector, look at the education sector, no textbooks. We don't have adequate classrooms, adequate dormitories. So double track continues. And you see the congestion, you see the dilapidation, you see the difficult conditions under which our students are learning. You know of the no, no bed syndrome in the health sector. Doctors are complaining, basic medical equipment, incubators, suction machines, theater beds, they don't have it. The president himself embarked on this trip to go and beg for debt forgiveness. And this is how you go and beg for debt forgiveness. The person you are going to beg the, the debt forgiveness from, he doesn't travel in such luxury, in such ostentation. The level of extravagance, the obscene opulence which the president displayed is condemnable, is unconscionable. How do you think these Western leaders will perceive African leaders? No wonder they have very little respect for a lot of our leaders. And we cannot continue this way. So we insist that the Falcon was available. I have provided evidence to you. And you can Google this trip. You see that the Ugandan government put out official photos. And you know when we return from recess, the Right Honourable Speaker read communication from the President. And you heard the Right Honourable Speaker confirm that the President went to Uganda.